Hi guys, my name is Kritya Garwal and I am a student of second year in CEP which is Communication and Media, English and Psychology at Christ University's Bangalore Central Campus. And I am a student, I am an author, I am a TEDx speaker, a content creator, a YouTuber, a blogger and a freelancer as well. So I am here to represent CAPS. CAPS is basically an in-house organization for the students, of the students and by the students. Uh, we at CAPS aim to bridge the gap between the academic and professional spheres of a student's life and we do so by collaborating with other departments across the university. And I'm very glad to be here as a group pair trainer at CAPS. So I'm uh, really glad to be presenting a session on CV and resume building. So let's start. So in this session, we are going to cover about a lot more learning objectives surrounding a CV and a resume. We'll start with what is actually a CV and a resume, why are they important and why are they needed in the job market, the difference between a CV and a resume, why and what of a resume, different components of a resume and how to format and design it in the right way. And finally, I will show you a sample resume as well. So let's begin with it. So as you can see in the screen here, I have some examples for you of the famous movie characters from which we can, you know, inspire and take out some skills which we can put in our CV or maybe a resume as well. So for example, Captain America, we can take great leadership skills from that character. And I have also a good activity for you, which is how would you make your resume and CV stand out? So let me know in the comments below. So basically, a resume is a professional document of yours, which you use in various, you know, applying to various jobs or maybe uh, going for some kind of professional level in which you may require a resume. So you have to understand its importance. So, you know, uh, it actually helps you to construct a scholarly identity and it has to be a kind of, you know, a one page resume actually works the best. Uh, it has to be a very detailed and wide-ranging document in which you cover everything about your professional life and what you have been doing. Uh, may it be from education to internship experience to any kind of uh, job experience you might have. And of course, it has a complete record of one's history and what he she have been doing. Yeah, so guys, uh, you can have a look at the sample CVs here and you can get to know what to exactly write step by step and you know what could be the different sections of a CV. So let's move on to a difference between a resume and a CV now. So basically a resume is a document which is used uh, for internships, graduate schools and potential employers. So you can send it to your potential employers and get a job, uh, maybe you know work in the corporate industry. Whereas a CV which is the curriculum vitae, it, it's used basically to apply for any kind of research and you know it could be event participation or any kind of advanced research which you are looking for. So basically the average uh, educational market is covered when talking about a CV. A CV on the other hand could be comparatively a more lengthier document whereas a resume is very short and crisp where you are telling about what you have been doing and you are displaying your experience. So here's an activity for you in other as well. So if you can see on the screen, we have a sample uh, resume and you have to spot the mistakes. So do let me know in the comments below. I can give you just two seconds. One, two. Okay, so let me just tell you the mistakes right now. We have, if you notice the email ID, it's written cheetosforever at the gmail.com which looks very unprofessional when you talk about a resume. So you have to use a email ID which has your name and your surname and you can use at the rate yahoo.com or maybe at the gmail.com then. Okay, so talking about if you go to the experience section as well, you can see that it's scattered. It's like, you know, 2020 achievements are written at the top and then it comes 2022. Whereas in a resume, you have to follow a descending order wherein your work experience, the very recent one has to come on the very top and then followed by the another ones. And in the education, education section as well, if you see in the third section, we have uh, written I was the, uh, you know, so we, you do not have to use first pronouns while writing a resume. Okay, so what actually a resume is and you know uh, why is it necessary so basically you just have to cover a 
concise summary of your experiences, your skills and qualifications uh, using a consistent theme inside your resume. So the objectives could be to convey your strengths and weaknesses, what you have been doing and what you want to tell to the employers, ultimately leading to the interviews as well because after you send your resumes, the next step is the interview. So basically by seeing your resume, your employers actually get a sense of what you have been doing and what you are as an individual, what are your professional achievements and what have you accomplished in your professional life as an individual. So these are some of the resume fundamentals which you can cover inside a resume which actually covers all of your skills uh, based on you know maybe technical skills or your communication skills, team building skills and uh, flexibility, leadership, all of that are covered. So make sure to demonstrate these in your resumes so as to, for you to stand out and make sure that your employers also get an idea of what you are. So talking about the types of resumes, we have basically four types of resumes, namely chrono chronological resume, skills resume, functional resume and scannable resumes. So I'll just run briefly one by one. A uh, chronological resume is basically a traditional type of resume which is useful for people with multiple work experiences. Moving on to skills resume. Skills resume are mostly re used by students to display their volunteering experiences and type of what they have already worked upon. Functional resume, it actually does not follow a particular order and it could be, you know, the most impressive ones could be placed at the very top. Uh, talking about the scannable resumes, we have different scannable resumes in which the, uh, there are automatically systems which scan your resume, get a sense of the keywords in which uh, it has and, you know, automatically your resume gets shortlisted among many others. So basically, uh, if you have ever heard of ATS, which is Applicant Tracking System, it actually means that your resume has some keywords and it goes under a computerized system which actually scan your resume and based on those uses of those keywords, it, it gets to, you know, uh, vary according to among many others. So scannable resumes are also, uh, it depends upon the keywords and technology that is there. So make sure to use some kinds of highly appreciated keywords and, you know, you need to follow a very simple format, uh, in a specific font and size. So all of that comes under designing and formatting as well. So uh, talking about the components of a resume, we have different components and different sections which are very important for uh, you to cover inside the resume. Uh, beginning with the contact information, you have to give your contact information which can include your contact number, email ID and you know maybe your address as well. Uh, the resume objective or personal summary, why is the, you are writing a resume and what is the aim of a resume and what is that, you know, what kind of individual are you? If you could, if you could de describe that in one line, that would come under the personal summary. Talking about the qualifications and work experiences, you can write something about your internships or maybe what is that you have done in your college life or maybe in your school or maybe as a fresher, what type of person are you? So you and what type of experience you have in the industry, you can write about that. And of course, you have to write about the dates and you know what the starting and the ending dates were and was it a remote internship or was it on site? Uh, in, any, in any additional achievements, you can write about your volunteering positions or maybe the leadership experiences that you might have in the industry or maybe in any of the organizations you have been associated with for order, uh, in order for you, the employer to get a sense of what you have been uh, up to. And additional uh, sections may, may be customizable according to the job requirement or maybe wh wherever you will be using that particular resume. It can cover your languages or maybe personal skills or interests or anything else which is not highlighted already in any of the above mentioned sections. So that can come in the additional information. So these are some of the additional guidelines which you can see in the content and the format of the resume. So make sure that in the content you have very formal language in which you are talking to the employer and in which you are describing your work accomplishments. Uh, it could be, you know, just avoid some type of spelling and grammatical errors which are so common and obvious to make out and it doesn't leave a good impression. The format uh, should be, you know, set margins and it could be some uh, zero 0.5 to 1 inches and use the, uh, the similar kind of format and the similar kind of font size and font you have been using. 
uh, and you know submit your resume as a PDF and all those kind of things. Additionally, I would like to tell you some of the questions that you could you know take you help of uh, while answering and while writing and stating the components of a resume. It could be what exactly do you do, and you know you can start off with a strong action verb, which I'll be talking about in a minute or so. Uh, just you know avoid using weak phrases and what was your methodology or process what you have been working on what are these some kind of examples you can cover and what was your you know purpose and outcome why did you contribute and what was the bigger picture in whatever you are writing and when you are describing about your role in a particular internship or maybe an organization what was that that you focus and fo focus on and what was your learning objective in that so what was that that you actually take uh, took out from the you know uh, whatever internship or program you have been associated with what was your learning outcome and how you tackled things accordingly and how successful was this experience what kind of traits were you able to show so if you can write briefly about all of these things that would actually make sense so here are some kind of uh, list of the action verbs uh, for example if i don't write help in my resume i could replace it by assistant so it looks more professional and you know you can just use your resume to kind of flex about what you have been doing in your professional experiences and of course flex your uh, english uh, language skills as well because it actually gives you an idea about what professional language you could use so these are the some of the lists which you can see already in which you can you know replace certain simple words with certain kind of professional and more certain complex words as well and of course make sure that you do not write in a simple you know sentence or kind of a things but use bulleted points inside your resume and uh, you, some kind of skills also you could be writing for example transferable skills are there and supporting experiences you could write so here you can see some examples uh, which is related to the job specific and you know according to the job you are applying for or according to the rule you have to demonstrate your skills and experiences accordingly so this is one of the examples of a um, student in Christ University who has followed a similar pattern and he has taken the pattern from Harvard University and this is a resume which you can actually follow and you know it the kind of format he has used it actually helps to distinguish between many others because students nowadays have been using templates and formats which are available in canva which actually doesn't uh, you know make sense because a lot of other students have been using those as well so what makes your resume stand out and distinguish from many others could be these extra little steps that you actually take care of so this was all from my side and if you have any further doubts, questions, queries, you can reach out in the comments below or you can uh, write to us at the rate uh, at qs.caps at the rate christuniversity.in and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you so much and hope this was helpful.